All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushah, Bashem Rakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And it says, says Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Uh, title of this lesson is the uh, Virginity Auctions. A uh, British team sells sex online as one offer fetches $1.5 million. Okay. Uh, it says, um, this is the woman. Jasmine sold her virginity for $1.5 million through an escort agency uh, called Cinderella es Escorts. British teenagers are being encouraged to auction their virginity online after a woman from the UK broke the record for selling her first experience of sex. A website is used as a platform to broker deals between virgins and their those seeking sex with them has bragged of the huge sum collected by the 26-year-old. The woman, Jasmine, fetched a staggering $1.2 million 1.5 million for the sale of her first time. A Hollywood actor purchased it, according to the agency. Jasmine says she got to audition three men via dates before their final bids were placed. In a statement, the student wrote that she had no regrets. This was an amazing experience. After I got public attention, it took some months, but finally I sold my virginity. Last week, I dated three guys from dinner here in London. A football player from Manchester United who really went, he's super nice to me. Also, I ha I've had a date with a businessman from New M Munich. He was real a real gentleman and we really liked each other. But to be honest, he was finally too old for me. The highlight was dating one of my favorite actors from Hollywood. Cinderella Escorts told me that he had already bid for Giselle before, but was outbid by another man. Therefore, it was my pleasure to meet him. I would never have dreamed to get that high price for my auction. But it's more... I am amazed who brought my auction. It is so amazing. I love my decision to sell my virginity through CinderellaEscorts.com. And I think every girl would do the same in my position rather than giving it to a man. She later on, nevertheless, broke break up with. Okay. And um, that's the mindset that people have. Okay in uh this world okay that you know this is a okay thing um and i just wanted to get into that um isaiah 29 and 16 surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for so the work say of him that made it he made me not or so the thing framed say of him that framed it he had no understanding okay and um this is what you have okay the lord okay he gave women this you know the virginity for um a reason okay for their husbands okay now um the so-called white man he turned everything upside down now in the bible you do have examples of, um, you know, a dowry, okay, that a uh, man would have to pay for his woman, okay. It says um, in Exodus 22 and 6, And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, right, not, you know, uh, promised to another man, and lie with her, have sex with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Okay, and that dowry went to the father. Okay, um, it says to obtain or acquire by by paying purchase price, give a dowry to obtain and ex 
exchange okay so in exchange for this woman being the man's wife okay or exchange in exchange for the sex the man would pay that dowry okay and it, it will go to that father okay so the idea of a man paying for sex okay to um basically uh you know have a woman okay that's not a bad concept according to the bible because that's what men did and ultimately on a lower level that's what men are doing today but to just pay 1.5 million dollars for some sex okay from a virgin okay that you might just hit only one time okay which this virgin is uh already a, a prostitute okay but to do that for only one time that's something that is turned upside down man and, and this this is behavior that is that is promoted man you know see the so-called white man he, you know you know that there there are women and stuff out here that are selling their self you know for um for sex and stuff like that you know you have people in the Bible who, um, you know, men of, of the Lord who actually um, paid for sex, okay, from, from prostitutes, okay? But the so-called white man, the only reason why he wants um, sex to be uh, illegal is because he can't um, really, he, want, he wants to control and regulate that, okay? If he can make money off of it, which they're going to make their money off of this 1.5 million dollars okay you can best believe that especially going through um cinderella escorts okay but the the, the thing is that the so-called white man has perverted okay judgment okay he's perverted judgment now the etymology of the word uh pervert is from the 1660s one who has forsaken a doctrine or system regarded as true apostate okay and um that's what uh the so-called white man did okay he he left the, the 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 doctrine okay of what uh 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 a man is supposed to do to that woman okay and that woman is supposed to be that that man's wife okay for the rest of his life okay um, it says to for, one who has forsaken a doctrine or a system, okay, the system that's in the Bible, which the system was never for the so-called white man, okay. It says to the word verb, the verb, it says uh, from the 1300s, it says uh, to turn a, someone aside from a right religious belief to a false or erroneous one, from Old English uh, perverter, pervert, undo, to destroy. Okay, and the so-called white man has destroyed or, 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 or tried to destroy the um the truth, man. Okay. Um, overthrow, overturn, figuratively to corrupt, subvert, abuse, literally turn the wrong way, turn about. Okay, to turn, to turn back, be turned, convert, transform, translate, be changed. Okay, and that's so-called white man did. Okay, he turned a lot of people the wrong way. Okay, instead of having them going right, he has them going left. Okay, now I'm going to have this scripture, um, 1 John 3 and 8. He that commits sin is of the devil. Okay, and that word devil means deceiver or accuser. For the devil sins from the beginning when to do his own thing, okay, rather than what the Lord said to do, okay. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil, okay. The Lord is going to destroy the works of the devil. And this is one of the works that the devil set up. 
for this money. Okay. Um, Proverbs 17 and uh, 23. A wicked man takes a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Okay. And that, you know, that's this people, the people that are in Hollywood, man, they're wicked. Okay. And this man, okay, which was a Hollywood actor, you know, paid, you know, this, this woman, okay, top dollar to get, you know, this sex, okay, to, you know, overthrow judgment. Her judgment is already off, you know, but I wanted to get this scripture, I mean, this uh, definition, which is cultural mar Marxism, okay, which this is the, um, the Urban Dictionary, okay, and I thought this was a good one. It says the gradual process of destroying all traditions, okay, the traditions that are in the scriptures, languages, okay, the Hebrew, okay, the different ways of how words in the Hebrew, okay, have different meanings, okay, compared to the ways that the Amer American society says, right? It says religions, individuality, okay, and that's what this uh, woman uh, was promoting, okay? She thinks that every every girl would do the same in her position, okay? Rather than thinking, you know, on an individual level, that don't work for every, that don't work for everyone, you know. Now you do have a the the example of uh, women out here just um you know going out and sleeping with you know any other man that they that they want being a hoe like this woman is, you know. She just think that she just doing it for money, so she's much better than these other women. You know, but you perverting that, you perverting judgment. Okay, you get trying to get people to go uh, uh, away from what the Lord said for them to do. Okay, it says uh, the gradual process of destroying all traditions, languages, religions, individuality, government, family, law, and order in order to reassemble society in the future is a communist utopia. This utopia will have no notion of gender, traditions, morality, God, or or even family or the state. Okay, and this is what they're trying to go towards. The philosophy was proven not to work already by Vladimir Lenin as he tried to vain to control in vain to control and subjugate the people. He admitted before he died that capitalism was the only true system in which he understood how in which people understand how to live with each other okay so through money these people that's one of the things that people think um that they can uh come come together on okay when it comes down to that money okay Lenin knew that there were a few western idiots who kept spreading the communist idea Long after Lenin gave up, he called these people useful idiots as they had more emotion than brains and could be used to subvert the western states for a military takeover in the future as the citizens will already be perverted and sick and weak from poisonous ideas, the decadent lust and mindless entertainment. And that's the that's the mindset that people have nowadays, man. Okay, uh, they're perverted, going away from what the Lord said, man. Okay, money, money. They think that money changes things, you know. This is a, a poisonous idea. That that money, okay. That what it's the saying, man. More money, more problems, man. You know. She can get that money. Lose her virginity, get that money, and then die the next day, man. You know. So this is these are poisonous ideas, okay? Not the fact that you know the the whole you know her selling it uh, for the money, okay? Because like I said, the scriptures go into that, but just the fact that she's not doing it in the way that the the Lord set it up, okay? So, let me get this scripture, 1 Timothy 6 and 10. It says, For the love of money is the root of all evil. While which, which while some co coveted 
after they have erred from the faith. Why? Because they have been per perverted and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And this thing right here, losing your, her virginity, even though she might end up being happy, okay? She's going to pierce herself, okay? Because she get that, 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 she got that money, okay? And, um, you know, may that be a curse onto her, man. Okay? Um, Proverbs 20 and 7. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man. But afterwards, his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Okay? As with this, the, any of these people that are perverting judgment for this, you know, this type of thing. Okay? That, um, you know, they, like I said, they think that money changes things. But we're going to see when that dollar bill collapse and that RFID chip is out here. You know, and you can't go spend that $1.5 million. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.